In this video, we will be covering starting up Motive Wave in Windows. Now, during the installation process, if you've selected to create a shortcut on the desktop, then you can either start it from the shortcut or you can go via the Start menu over down to your Motive Wave program group. And what you'll notice there is you'll have three options. The first one is the default Motive Wave configuration. The next two, if you find that you are running uh, many, many charts and many, many studies and your Motive Wave seems to slow down, you have the option to allot more memory to it by either starting it via 3 gigabyte or 6 gigabyte. Just make sure that you have adequate system resources if you decide to do so. Of course, you can always right click and pin it to the start menu, which will then show up here. Or of course, you can always click and drag and add it to your taskbar as well. So let's start Motive Wave. From the initial start screen, you'll be presented with a list of available workspaces. You'll also have an options button. Now we will get into this in a separate video. You have the ability to exit. In the bottom right hand corner, you have two lines. The first line shows the embedded Java virtual machine version along with the version, the present version of Motive Wave. Now just a note that Motive Wave does not require a username and password to use the platform. If you are being asked for a username and password, then that will be from your connecting broker or data service. In this case, we have Google, so we will not be prompted for a username and password. Once clicking continue, the workspace, workspace will load, and you'll be presented with a default chart. Okay, so if we start Motive Wave again, let's just exit. This time we're going to select a broker connection. We'll click continue. And now you'll be presented with the login screen. Here you would you you would type in your provided username and password from your broker or data connection. If it's a broker and it's a demo account, you would select demo. If it's live, you would then select live. You have the option to click Remember Password. This will remember the password so that for future sessions, you don't have to type it here in your password box. You have the Work Offline option. This comes in handy if you are, for example, traveling and you don't have access to the internet or for whatever reasons you do not want to go online. By clicking Work Offline, your charts will load with any of the previously loaded data that you have on your local hard drive. Okay, so this will allow you to continue doing your analysis and your drawings without requiring a live connection. So that wraps up this video and we'll see you in the next one.